Hi there. Welcome to the Science Museum of Virginia. Today we're coming to you from the forge and we're going to be talking a little bit about static electricity. My name's Matt and I'll be leading you through it. So what we have here, does anybody know what this is called actually? That's right, a Van de Graaff generator. So what we're going to do is have fun with this Van de Graaff generator. We're going to turn it on in just a second and start generating some static electricity. But first let's talk about what static electricity is. So static electricity is very different than the current electricity that comes out of an outlet. Current electricity is the electrons coming from the power source, your outlet, moving through the core to the load and back through the core to the outlet. And it keeps going in this circular current. Static electricity is also caused by electrons, but not electrons moving in a circular current. What happens with static electricity is that those electrons are pulled from various molecules and atoms in the air and begin to kind of pile up. So one electron comes next to another electron and then another electron, but they're not touching and they're not moving per se. They're just getting closer together and piling up. What happens when I turn this Van de Graaff generator on is that those electrons are going to be pulled by this mechanism up to the top of the dome here. So we have a rubber tube and inside, you can't see this, there is a little mesh, wire mesh plate that will hold the electrons and a piece of felt in there that as the rubber rubs on the felt, those electrons are pulled and generated onto that mesh. And then we start to see the reaction from those electrons like so with our fake hair standing up. Can anybody think of a static electricity example that may have happened to you at home? That's right, rubbing a balloon on your hair. Yes, rubbing your socks over the carpet and shocking your sister. So as those electrons begin to pile up and give reaction to our fake hair here, these are actually little plastic bits of a pom-pom. Can anybody tell me what charge an electron has? Is it positive, is it negative, or is it neutral? That's right, it's negative. And does anybody know what happens when two things of the same charge come together? We talk about this in electricity. We also talk about it in magnetism. But what happens when two things of the same charge get close together? Who knows? That's right, they are repelled from each other. So when two electrons with negative, negative charges come together, they are repelled from each other. What's happening here is just that. The electrons are coming up to the top of the dome. Some of those electrons are getting into our fake hair and giving all of this a negative charge so that they are repelled away from each other. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see uh, another quick example of what happens to electrons if they're too crowded and they need to go someplace. This is kind of the visual representation of static electricity. Sometimes you see this out in nature. Well, let's see if we can get one from our Van de Graaff. And what's happening is the electrons, those electrons that are on this dome are being transferred from this dome to this dome. They're jumping from one place to another. And now we're gonna test some materials and we're gonna see what happens with our fake hair when we get these various materials close to our Van de Graaff generator. So, I wanna start with a metal rod here and this metal, as I get closer, I want you to think about what's going to happen. So, do you think when I get this close to my hair, the hair will be attracted or repelled or nothing will happen? Think about that. Let's see. As I get close with my metal rod, the hairs actually go down toward the dome. So as I get close with my metal rod here, this picks up a negative charge. Those have a negative charge, so they are repelled down away from my metal rod. Let's try wood. So think again, will this be, will the hairs be attracted to, repelled from, or maybe nothing will happen when I get this one. Here there's really a lack of reaction. This stays relatively neutral. It's not positive, it's not negative. So when I do this, my hairs stay outright. They don't go down towards the dome and they don't stick to the wood. 
All right, so we've tested a few materials with our Van de Graaff generator to see if they are going to be attracted or repelled from these fake hairs. Essentially, whether they are good conductors, something that allows electricity to flow through, or insulators, something that doesn't allow electricity to flow through. But now we're gonna try another fun attraction repulsion experiment. Here I have a brand new 2020 styrofoam car and I'm going to put inside this car a lot of people. And these people are actually packing peanuts, okay? So when I put this on top and I turn this on, I want you all to think about what will happen based on the attraction and repulsion we've been talking about. So think about it, when I turn this on, do you think all the people in the car will be fine, they'll just sit there and nothing's gonna happen? Or do you think they'll pick up some kind of charge and be either really attracted to each other or really repelled from each other? Let's see what happens. Okay, so what happened here is our packing peanuts, our people in our styrofoam car, all got a negative charge. That static electricity, that charge went right through the styrofoam cup, gave all of our people a negative charge. And because they were all negative, and we know that the same charge will repel, they were repelled away from and out of the cup. So we saw our people go flying. Now, if this were not, there's more people in there, if this were not a styrofoam car, if this were instead a metal car, frame, the metal would protect the people. The reason that these people aren't going to fly away is that as the static electricity builds up, the electrons dissipate around this cage that they're sitting in. Think of this cage as the frame of a car. So the electrons dissipate around there, never actually reaching the people, giving them a negative charge, causing them to repel and fly out of the car. So a car is a decently safe place to be during a lightning storm because of that Faraday cage type of action of the frame. I hope you all enjoyed this quick look at the Van de Graaff generator and the static electricity that it generates and have some fun at home experimenting with static electricity yourself with a balloon or a comb or clothes as they come out of the dryer. There's lots of examples of static electricity all around us every day. Thanks for watching. See you later. Download instructions for this and other STEM at home activities at smv.org slash stay connected.